What's going on guys? So TikTok just announced some really cool new features inside Ads Manager, adding to their video tool, their video creation tool, which to date hasn't been that great. There's been a lot of things missing in it, but with this recent update, it adds a few really, really valuable things, features that make it infinitely more uh, valuable to advertisers and much more likely to actually use it. So what we're gonna do in this video is I wanna dive into the new video editor looking at some of the new features. Now, the two that I am most excited about, there's a few that are cool depending on, on the type of advertisers you are and the type of issues you have, but the two that I am most excited about that I think anybody watching this is going to get a ton of value out of. One is auto captions, right? Um, so technically auto subtitles, that's what TikTok calls them. So essentially, um, and the reason it's different than captions is because captions in TikTok are kind of the little tiny text in the bottom left for organic that doesn't really pop out. Subtitles are those kind of big text overlays that I talk about a lot, putting them on top of the video that really stand out. And you see them most, most TikToks have subtitle text all over, right? Kind of this overlay. So the new feature automatically generates those subtitles in like a few seconds. And it's way more accurate than their auto caption tool is inside the app. Um, it's frankly, on most videos I've tested it on, it's been close to 100% accurate. The only time it hasn't been is in videos where I talk even faster than usual because I do talk pretty fast. Um, but for normal people that talk at a normal pace, it'll probably be perfect for you every single time. So auto subtitles, I'm going to show you how we do that. Really, really useful um, because again, that subtitle text popping up, popping up and kind of keeping people engaged in the video is a huge part of success on the platform, but it's really, really time consuming, right? That's probably one of the most time consuming parts of both people on the paid and organic side of social today is adding those subtitles throughout the entire video because most people have to manually add each one, then edit the time duration. It's, it's a pain in the ass. So this is a huge feature. I'm really excited about this. Now, the um, other feature is they've added text to voice. So one of the most popular features inside of TikTok organically is the ability to put your subtitle text on the TikTok and then click it, do text to voice and pick one of the voices. And then TikTok will basically narrate for you. Now this can be done inside as manager for any text you want. So you can get that done without having to basically do what we used to do, which is you used to have to go inside TikTok organically, create a TikTok, add the effect, and then use a tool like SnapTik or Inflac or whatever, export it, then import it into TikTok Ads Manager. Very, very time consuming. So both of these features add a ton of value because they save so much time, um, which is really important for TikTok because you need to be creating so much creative. So if you can save a lot of time on these tedious things, you can focus on the most important things, which is angles and rapid creative generation, right? So those are the two most important things I'm most excited about. A few of the other things added, one is auto translations, which is great if you're running multiple geos. And then the other is auto vertical orientation development. So essentially, if you're uploading kind of horizontal videos from YouTube or one by one, four by five from Instagram, Facebook, TikTok will now automatically turn that into nine by 16. And then you kind of using image recognition and deciding what's important, what, what's the highlight of the each scene, it's gonna kind of move it dynamically based on that to kind of keep things front and center as it modifies the sizing. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna click share screen. We're gonna dive in here. I'm gonna walk through a few of these features, show you how to do them and show you frankly how cool they are and how fast they are, which I'm again, really, really excited about this. So what you're seeing here is inside one of the ad accounts to get to this little pop-up, all you need to do is, I'm gonna click confirm here, is go to your ad level, click create, once you click create, you'll see there's now like a bunch of, they already had these templates, but they kind of they redid the UI a little bit. So now you can pick based on e-commerce, gaming, holiday, and it'll create some templates. So if you just have, you know, stock video, stock photos, whatever, you can use these templates. Not a big fan of them, but it looks a little cleaner there. They also have this tool over here called Eraser. I haven't tested this yet because it took too long. It took me like minutes to do it and I didn't want to wait. Um, but technically what this feature does is if you want to remove a piece of like a background, like there was a word or a sign or somebody in the background of a video, you can use this to essentially digitally erase them from the video, which is also another really cool, um, really cool feature. But for this video, let's talk about the two that I'm most excited about. So we're gonna click create. And now once I'm in here, everything's gonna look very similar if you've been in the video editor before. I'm gonna then click, I'm just gonna add one of my videos. So let's do, um, we'll do this one right here. Okay. And so now when I click on the video, I have a click on the little video down here, these little icons pop up. So here I have the, um, this is the remove unwanted object. 
feature. So I click that, then I can kind of drag it over and, and highlight what I want to erase. Then I have auto caption, which creates those subtitles, quick translation, text to speech, and convert to vertical. So let's start with auto caption. I'm gonna then click up here, English, US, or you can click whatever language you want. Click generate caption. It's gonna go through. And like I said, really fast. That was like four or five seconds. So in about four or five seconds, it auto captioned the entire um, video. And again, what's really cool about this is that it does it at the right timing. So it creates, as you can see up here, all the, the little sections there, the subtitles, broken down at the right time in the video with the right length in the video. So again, doing this inside like an in-shot or a cap cut is very, very time consuming. It's probably the most time consuming part of the video creation process for ads. So it's doing this again, really accurately. Um, so you can see this website is my TikTok marketing secret weapon. Let's see what you wanna see how accurate it is. It's called the TikTok Trends Database. Here's, here's how it works, so I missed that one, but I can modify every single week, new training sounds with a link to the sound, how to use the sound, or it said or instead of R, R added to the database, so two little mistakes there. New opening text overlay ideas are also added, so are, and then need R there, so are opening hook ideas. There's a growing list of creators who share trend ideas that you can follow, and just a list of creators who share really awesome, really good TikToks broken down by industry. Eventually, I'm gonna start charging monthly for this, but right now, I'm doing a lifetime access if you're interested. Go to my profile, click the link in the bio. So again, not bad. That's a you know 30 second video with a good amount of speech in it. And it had essentially two slight typos in there, two to three slight typos in there, which again are really easy to modify. Now what I can do from here is I can take these and I can drag these anywhere in the video. I can bring them you know, kind of down here. And then if I need to modify it, I can modify it right here. I can then pick any fonts I wanna do. So I wanna change the fonts up. And I like using kind of custom fonts. So this is also a useful, like um, you can import fonts into, um, into Ads Manager. So if you click upload font, it's really easy to upload a .ttf file or a .otf file. Um, if you go to Google Fonts, you can download a lot of fonts for free and then import it here and then you can use them easily. So like Bangers Regular, I really like this font because it really pops and really stands out. I'm gonna click. Let's go to, we'll do 64. And then I'm gonna make this kind of outline text because I like the way that that looks. Then I'm gonna do font color. I'm gonna do something that people really like yellow. That's kind of the color a lot of people are using on their social because it does really pop as people are uh, scrolling by. So there you go, I have the stroke color. I'm gonna keep that black. And, um, and again, if I wanna put kind of an angle on this, I'm gonna do that here. Again, if I want to add any additional text to this. So add an emoji right there. And again, if I want to increase the font even more, I can do that. And then what's also great about doing the subtitles inside of Ads Manager, instead of doing it inside InShot or CapCut, which is what we, we do a lot of, is that this has the masking. So over here has masking. So you can kind of see faintly right here what the overlay looks like when it's actually in the app, what a user is gonna see, which is really great for placing things. Because what ends up happening with a lot of people when they make this mistake, when they're doing their creative, is they might put some of the subtitle text like here, or they might put it kind of, it might go over here, or they might put it too high. And so this allows you to really see, okay, this is the lowest I can put it. This is kind of the highest I can put it. This is as far to the left or right I can put it. So it gives you that extra little, confidence there that when you go through all this work, because listen, there's been a, too many times, especially early on, where I spent like way too much time, a lot of time, you know, kind of subtitling an entire video, only to upload a TikTok and realize like, crap, I made it too big and now it looks stupid. And I gotta go back and redo it all. And that's, that's worse. So this is gonna save you a lot of time. The only complaint that I have for this, and I hope they have TikTok adds this, it's version 1.0, so I'm sure they'll add it eventually, is that there's no ability, um, at the moment to kind of bulk select all the text here or like mass apply. Um, which again, so this is a little time consuming, but again, this saves so much time in general, that's not a huge deal. But now I kind of had to go to each one of these and you know do the same thing where I have to come in and um, you know modify the way it looks, change the, the font color, all that stuff. So that's the only like 
kind of annoying time consuming part here. Um, but again, overall, this is going to save people a lot of time, which is great. This website's my TikTok marketing secret weapon. It's called the TikTok. And again, this is like makes database. such a difference Here's when you're works. watching. Every single week, new trending sounds with a link to the sound, how to use the sound are added to the database. New opening text overlay ideas are also added. So we're opening hook ideas. Just like having that consistently throughout the video, those subtitles popping up, it keeps people so much more engaged. Um, and so, yeah, you don't need some fancy person to do video editing anymore. You can do it all through TikTok, which is just awesome. Now, the second cool feature that I talked about, one was the subtitle edition. The other is the um, you know, quick translation. You can do that now that I have text on there, but also the text to speech. So this one is really cool. So if I click now text to speech, it's going to automatically pull in all the text content from the video. And then from here I can select right now, just as one narr narrator there, I'd imagine they're going to add more coming soon. But again, this just released, then I can change the speeds. So I want it to talk really slow or really fast or just down the middle. I'm going to click generate speech. It's going to do its thing in the background here and boom again, really fast. Um, so again, like five, six seconds there. And now if I click play, this will be a little awkward. Let me see if actually I'll turn the, return the volume down on my video. And then that way they just the robot voice talks. This website is my TikTok marketing secret weapon. It's called the TikTok trends database. Here's that works. So again, what I would do, you know, I talk very fast, so I should pick the fastest options. So it's a little off there. Um, but you can, again, always go back and modify these things and just restart and redo it. That's not a problem. So, and then I can just click confirm. And this is saved as a new video inside my ad library that I can use in any ad group that I'm duplicating this into. So let's go back here. So yeah, there you have it. That's the um, new addition um, to TikTok's video editor, the kind of their smart toolkit, right? So the smart video editor, um, and these are four new additions that they just launched. Um, keep an eye out, like this is, this is really cool. Cause again, what separates in my opinion, TikTok from Facebook and other ad channels, but specifically Facebook, cause I have so much experience on that platform, is that TikTok is constantly rolling out. Sure, they roll out some features that are stupid or bad or duds, right? Everybody does. But they're rolling out a lot more features, a lot more frequently that add tremendous value to advertisers. Whereas Facebook, for a decade that I was running ads on it, like almost never rolled out a useful feature. All the features that rolled out either made things worse, more confusing, less effective. A lot of stuff TikTok rolls out on a monthly basis. It's like, this is super useful. This is gonna save me so much time. They're actually talking to advertisers and actually getting a pulse of what the challenges are. Because we talk to our reps every week and they ask us like, what would you improve? What would you do here? They actually talk to us and then they implement that feedback. Um, so transparently, like this was a, a, a problem that I was actually gonna solve. We had a, a software company we're working with um, that we were working on a project to actually do something like this because it's such a big problem. But TikTok beat us to the punch, which is fine. Um, like, I think this is just better to have it natively in the app. Um, but again, these features make ads manager that much better. It makes the in-app video editing that much more powerful, that much more effective. And it's going to save you so much time. Again, this is the key. You can still do stuff outside and in InShot and CapCut, any of the edits want to want to do there. Because again, there's a lot of stuff. You, there's a lot of limitations here. You can't do, um, you know, keyframes. You can't do, you know, picture in picture. There's all kinds of things you can do in, in the apps that I've talked about and used. So you can't really do that in here, but you can do all that, but then do the time consuming stuff like the subtitle generation, um, like the text to speech, like the translations, like the, you know, repositioning from, you know, a one by one to a nine by 16, all in here. So you can have this be your second step that saves all the time consuming stuff and you just focus on the high value stuff. So again, there you have it, newest addition to TikTok Ads Manager in the video editor feature. We now have the ability to auto-generate subtitles. We have the ability to do text-to-speech. We have the ability to do auto-translations. We have the ability to erase unwanted background elements. And we have the ability now to dynamically kind of change the dimensions of the video to keep the key action and key person in frame throughout the video. So those are some new things. Let me know what you guys think of these new additions in the comments. Are you gonna use them? Are you excited about them? And also, is there something that's missing that you would like TikTok to add that would make the platform that much better in terms of the ads manager and how it works? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit the little bell notification so you get all my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.